Hi folks, welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Today I'm going to do show a few inks and compare them side by side with other inks and the color is going to be gray. Now I did throw in another gray that I wanted to show and uh, let you all be the judge of what you think of all these grays when I compare them. There's one, there's actually six. And so, I even used a number two pencil that you'll see beside of them to kind of give you an idea how this gray ink can match a number two pencil. I think some did really a good job. Some came close and some were just not. And uh, there's one especially on here that I just wanted to put on there. It's not a gray, but... Uh, I thought it was kind of a cool ink. First of all, I want to show everybody that, first of all, a special shout out and thank you to Will Hodges, a buddy of mine and also a subscriber to my channel. He sent me this, this uh, ink a while back. It's really a Mont Blanc 100th, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mont Blanc 90 year permanent gray, which I do like and I do use. So, uh, why don't we get started? and uh, see what we get into here. Okay, here we go. Well, here is the Mont Blanc 90 year permanent gray. And I'm using Rhodia paper. So that is a real nice gray. And compared to the number two pencil, that's pretty darn close. I, I like that. And then we go to the Birmingham slag gray. And that is also a nice gray compared to the number two pencil. Uh, a little darker, but still a decent gray. Then here's where we get kind of hairy here. The Diamond Earl Gray. Looks a little purplish in there. What do you think? I, I, yeah, I see, I see a bluish tone to bluish it. Bluish tone, purple tone. It's got some tones going on inside there compared to the number two pencil. Then we go to the Noodler's Lexington Gray. Here's the number two pencil. And here's the Noodler's Lexington Gray. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Announcer? Uh, it, it's very, very slight, but it seems to me I see just a slight tinge of green to it. Yeah, it, there's a, and I can't really point it out. Uh, there's a color in there that's different. If you see the permanent gray here that looks really awesome so then let's go and i know what y'all going to say but i just mm. wanted to throw this in there anyway the noodlers l lawrence it's an interesting ink by noodlers against a number two pencil it got like that kind of a greenish in yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. green. Yeah, and they call it like an oil something or another. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to put it down on paper to show you what it looked like compared to a number two pencil. And just for the heck of it, the uh, Three Oyster Purple Gray. Well, here we go. Here's the Purple Gray against a number two pencil. I can't see really any gray in there. Can you? No, it's all dark purple. Yeah, it's just too much purple. And really, I mean, it's a nice looking purple, but I don't see any gray in it unless I'm colorblind. So, and then here's the number two pencil by itself. So, that's what it looks like. Now, let's just do a quick writing sample to show you what it looks like. Okay. This is the Mont Blanc I'm using. And there you have it. So, it is a real nice ink. I do like using it. So, what's your thoughts about this inks? Which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is closest to a number two pencil? Um, well, of course, I think on the spot's going to be the Mont Blanc Permanent Gray. 
And second, that's going to be a tough one between the Noodles Lexington and the Slag Gray by Birmingham. So, those are my choices. Of course, the Diamond Earl Gray, no, it didn't make it, at least not for me. And of course, the Noodler Earl Lawrence and the Three Oyster, uh, Oyster Gray, no. And I just, like I said, put uh, the Noodler Earl Lawrence in there. I just wanted to see what it kind of tasted like against the other grays. And I was really curious about the Three Oyster Purple Gray. Uh, so that's what I've come up with, with some gray ink samples for those who are interested in gray inks. So until my next adventure, be safe, God bless, and don't text, don't drive. Peace and love, guys. We're out of here. Later.